Against the backdrop of a cost of living crisis and widespread strikes, the UK government has unveiled a budget it hopes will ease the financial burden of millions across the country. Presenting the measures to Parliament, Britain's Finance Minister Chancellor Jeremy Hunt acknowledged the impact of falling wages, but indicated the government would not concede to strikes. Inflation destroys the value of hard-earned pay, deters investment and foments industrial strife. High inflation, Madam Deputy Speaker, is the root cause of the strikes we've seen in recent months. We will continue to work hard to settle those disputes but only in a way that does not fuel inflation. Part of the fall in inflation predicted by the OBR happens because of additional measures I take today. The budget includes assistance with soaring energy costs and expands childcare provision, but offers little in terms of public pay increases. Anger over economic pressures has manifested itself in several days of industrial action across key sectors, including transport, education and health. Tens of thousands of junior doctors have been taking part in a three-day strike in the lead-up to today's budget. The Conservative government is trailing behind the Labour opposition in the polls. It's far from clear that today's measures will do much to reverse that position.